Well, uh, it's it, it's very sad that Dean Ashton has to retire because I uh, I always thought he was a, a very intelligent player and a very efficient player. I liked him personally as a as a player and the personality on the pitch. Actual injury was done in training, as we remember. And, uh, you know, I can't believe it. A tackle by Sean Mike Phillips. I didn't know she's a, he tackled as much as I did in, as a player. I think. Um, but no, Dean was a, a, a wonderful talent. Um, you know, had an outstanding cup final against Liverpool back in 2006, and then at the start of that uh, next season, that was when he actually done his ankle and in the England squad. And <coughs> excuse me, although he came back um, at the beginning of the following season, he, he played 20 odd games, I think. But you know, we never quite got to see the Dean Ashton before his injury and. Uh, There ain't no reason things are this way It's how they all been made from the state I can't explain why we live this way We do it every day Breezes on the podium speaking of saints Prophets on the sidewalk begging for change Old ladies laughing from the fire escape Cursing my name I got a basket full of lemons and they all taste the same A window in a pigeon with a broken wing You can spend your whole life working for something Just to have it taken away People walk around pushing back their desks Wearing paychecks like necklaces and bracelets Talking about nothing, not thinking about well, you know, death I think when you get these major injuries, you, know, you always seem to get secondary injuries, and, and eventually, uh, you know, it all seems to have caught up uh, with Dean. But in these circumstances, I think um, you know you feel for the fans because they've been denied the chance to see a, a, what is a very good player for West Ham. You feel for the club because they've invested a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money, of course, in the player. But the one person I really, really feel for is Dean Ashton. You know, 25 years of age, coming up for 26. You know. We, I was talking to you before we we done this interview about how difficult it is psychologically to, to deal with, you know, giving up your career. I found it hard at the age of 36, but I had 20 years as a player. Like when you first get your injury, obviously you're very tentative and going on here, and that's where John comes in and, uh, and says, you know, there isn't going to be a problem. So it's just a case of getting your head around that. And, uh, Keep on building prisons, gonna fill them all. Keep on building bombs, gonna drop them all. Working your fingers bare to the bone, breaking your back, make you sell your soul like a lump. It's filled with cold. He's a lovely fella. Um, I, I really wish him well with whatever he's going to do. Yeah, of course he's going to get an insurance payout. He'll get millions of pounds maybe, but I'll tell you what, it won't replace the feeling of him going out to the pitch or for England or whatever club it might be. You know, I really, really feel for the player in this situation. It's not the first time it's happened. It won't be the last because it's all part of muscle football, but I really feel for Dean. I wish him well. I don't really think of it like that. I don't like to think, oh, it should, that should be me rather than him. You know, I'm injured at the moment, so I can't be selected. You know, so uh, whoever's whoever's not injured and playing well deserves their place. And you know, when I'm back fit, obviously I'll be trying my best to, uh, to get back in both West Ham to be Yeah, it was important to me. Yeah, you're dying, saying you're heavy, isn't it? <laughs> I wish it was earlier. <laughs>